Cotton Candy. That's right, that's right. And I am the Pink Panther. Ow! Who was sitting with that? Oh Who's my goodness, look at who we have here in the den. How y'all doing? Say your name for the people. Rob Morgan. Right. Yes. Now that's how they know you on Facebook, but if they really know you. <laughs> no, we can't oh, tell them. We don't want the people to be yelling out his name. No. <laughs> if, if they know him, they know him. Right. Mm -hmm. No. You know what his nickname is. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so listen, we want to let the people know all about you. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who do not know Mr. Rob Morgan. Shame on you. Yes. He has been doing it and doing it well for many, many years. Catch up. So what we're going to do now is go back, way back into time. Start off like that. Why don't you tell the people where your passion lies? Mm, in life. Mm -hmm. Just living. Just breathe. Just waking up, being able to think on my own, being able to wash my own ass, brush my own teeth. <laughs> those that's, are that's important. Passionate, you know right. what I mean? Like I never never try to overlook those those subtle things that we take for granted. No, this is you know true. What I mean? I'm thankful the moment I wake up that's a good thing. and, and can be. think on my own. Mm -hmm. right. I'm passionate about that because it's a it's a beautiful thing, right? right. Yeah. Life. I like I'm passionate that. about life. You hear that? Life. Yeah. And so while he's getting the passion of life on, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when he's, you know, on sets and things like that, when mm -hmm. did you know, for those of you who may not know, he is an actor, he is a creator, a creative being. Right. So let's tell the people. That's beautiful, if you will. Yes. Wow. Let's, like tell <laughs> <laughs> let's tell the people. Let's tell the people. That's right. Set up straight. Don't Set up straight. Up. Right. Yes. yes, that's right. <laughs> Own it. <laughs> Let's tell the people when you knew that you had this passion to uh, go into another uh, dwelling and become other people as an actor. Mm, wow. Uh, that's a beautiful question. You like that. <laughs> I like how you phrase it because you can make me go back to day one when I was like, look, me, give me everything. Yes. See how real that looks? Yes. I was it acting like I wanted real. to rob him. Right, yeah. But I really right. didn't want to rob him. Right. But it was giving me good. <laughs> well, did he give you his things? Well, I mean, you know what it is? is um, I believe we're all storytellers. Right. right. You know what I mean? Your life experiences uh, allows you to bring varying colors and, and, and ranges to whatever story you're trying to tell. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, my life started out very interesting. You know, I was a young black man in, in, in D.C. You black? Yeah. Oh, okay. Black and black. I thought he was mixed, mixed with black and black. <laughs> <laughs> the strongest mix in the world, black and black. Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some Asian yeah, Chinese, we got Asian yeah. black people out there, no doubt. But, right. uh, <laughs> but, you know, growing up in an environment where they, you know, they kind of tell you who you are and what to do. You know, I came up when in D.C. they was telling us young black males were endangered species mm -hmm. by the time you're 18 years old. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you're telling the uh, 12, 11, 13-year-old kid that, he gonna go hard. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because he's like, well, shit, I'm already an endangered species. Yeah, I need so to get, get to work. That's what they was telling us. And then, you know, you make 18, then they tell you you're an endangered species by the time you're 21. You know, but by the grace of God, by that time, I was at Virginia State University. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show, baby. HBCU. HBCU. Yeah, yeah. Historically black Stand colleges up. and universities. All day. Right. We need them. We right. got we to gotta support them. Uh, they're just as valuable to our community as any Ivy League school or whatever you, right. you know, have an interest in going to, especially if you are a person of color in this country. A black college university is one of the best things you could ever do. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Especially for undergrad. <laughs> Grad too. But, um, <laughs> so I got to Virginia State University and, you know, I started seeing that, you know, the, 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 the guy with the book bag and the straight A's and the, and the class president had the finest woo-woo. Shout out to the woo-woo Virginia <laughs> State University cheerleading squad. Find his woo woo on campus, you all know. Right, all right. And I'd be like, I go rob that dude. <laughs> the baddest girl on campus. All right. Or you see the guy and the, you know, the blazer and the, the khakis and the, the, the you know, uh, the penny loafers. Right. And he's the, the, the top dog on campus. And you'd be like, well, damn, you know, I got all this herringbone on and this guest jean outfit and this polo rugby and this mm -hmm. polo boots. And, you know, I'm dirty. I'm riding around dirty. And, 
You know, and it's wrong like wrong place, wrong time. Right. Well, well, what, 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 right what, what, place, right time yeah. for you to change. It was a, it for me. It was to see that what they were telling me who I was through the media. It wasn't me, right. and I, and I had a chance to see other people like me doing beautiful things with mm -hmm. themselves and caring about themselves and loving themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially, I went there. To, you know, I was gonna play basketball, and they told me that uh, I was gonna have to be red shirt. So when oh, they say yeah. you have to be red shirt because that's you're the freshman. worst. But you know what? I yeah. wish I wish I had somebody that would have been like, "Yo, black man, so red cute. shirt yeah. is a good." It's thing. just me. It's just a holding pattern. Because you it's get experience, pattern. you know yeah. what I mean? You get to work out with the team, you learn the mm -hmm. plays, you get to travel, you get to be in the environment. And you still and, a team member. And, and you get another year of eligibility to be on the mm -hmm. squad. So if I had somebody... What's red shirt? Red shirt is like uh, <laughs> if, if you're a freshman coming into a, a collegiate program, mm -hmm. a lot of times it may be a senior or a junior playing in your position who's oh, already okay. established and strong. You gotta wait. And so what they do is they have you come in and kind of like you're the farmer. The oh, farming okay. team. So you're shadowing. Uh, you're shadowing, exactly. Right. And so with my ego at the time, I was like, Rich, you man, you crazy, man. I started seeing you know, <laughs> all these years. You know, like, I know. Like, it does. Dog, it's a lot for the ego to handle, right. yeah. But, you know, um, so with that, I said, well, I'm not going to be doing all that and then be sitting on the bench for, you know, these people to see me sitting on the bench. What? So I focused on my social skills. All right. You know what I mean? I focused on basically being a human. Right, being a, a, a productive black man, All pretty right. much. So um, I didn't play the ball and stuff, but I wish I had somebody in my life to say, "Yo, Shadow or Rob or Robbie, whatever y'all call." Um, <laughs> um, uh, Red shirt is good, All man. Right. Mm -hmm. Do it. Be mm -hmm. patient. See it through. You know, see but, which one gets you. Uh, so was it at the college where you decided that you wanted to become an actor? Um, college is where I decided that, you know, um, I had a purpose in life. Mm -hmm. um, my acting bug hit in a way that's crazy because at first I graduated college, uh, Virginia State University, I was doing voiceovers. So nice. I, I left Virginia State and went back to D.C. to uh, pursue the, the radio game because mm -hmm. I was doing you have overnight the voice. radio. Yeah. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah, nice time. Wow. Yeah, I was doing <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, I, I'd make it a little deeper. Right, right, so right, strong. right. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was pursuing radio, and, and they was jerking me around. They had me on the overnight station uh, for 93.9 WKYS at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just was just jerking me around. So I was like, well, man, you know, if I'm going to get jerked around, I might as well go to New York to get jerked around. Right, right, right. right. You know, That's the best place. <laughs> Uh, it's a jerk going here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, right? Yeah. Ow. And so, um, and so at the time they were there was this young lady that was working at this insurance firm that I was working at, uh, and she was pursuing acting. Mm -hmm. Right? Her name was Margaret Terry. I wish I could find Margaret Terry. You might be able to shout find out her. to Margaret if Margaret you're out there. Margaret Terry, if you are out there, please. I, I looked for her, everything. I couldn't find her. But Reach Margaret out. Terry. If you are out there, girl, I owe you so much. Yeah. Really, I do. I owe Aww. you so much. Did you help her study lines? Well, she helped me. Well, let me tell you. What happened was, she was like, yo, Rob, you know, um, there's this movie, Contact, and they're, they're, they're having an open call at the Marriott. You should come with me, you know? Mm. And I was like, all right, whatever, you know. Right, cool. right. She's like, I think you'll dig this. You know, it's an open call. So I go there to the open call. Mind you, it's like 3,500 people right. at this Marriott, but it's like... 3,000 fine ass women. <laughs> it's like, whatever job this is, so I sign go, me up. Right? I, I go I over am. there and I'm like, Margaret. In me. I'm like, Margaret. What, what, the, what is this? Right? It's, it's beautiful. Wow. It's a whole way to open. Wow. You know, it's just all these fine ass women, right? You know, right. So I can get used to this, and I always had my own little style. Right. You know what I mean? I always had my something that separated me from everybody else. I don't know what it is. Um, That's your swag. Swag, so, spectacular. DC swag. And so I go up to the table, and they're like, "Yeah, you got a picture and headshot." And I was like, uh, "Nah, you know what's what's that?" They're like, "Okay, well, no worries. Right? We just take your pictures. Come behind the table. Right. Cool." So I go, you know, looking around at the girl still. You know, they take my look this way. Okay. <laughs> 
know where you are, it's no women. But I'm going to try to focus on you, so, right? So they took my picture, took Margaret's picture. We go to work the next day, and Margaret comes to the desk. She's like, did they call you? And I was like, nah, you know what? No. Did they call you? No, they ain't come. Okay, cool. Next day she comes up. Did they call you? I was like, who? What? No. <laughs> who are they? Why? Why are they calling? Did right? they call you? Did they call you? No. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm going to go back to work. Right. Right. Next day, my phone rings. Mm. Uh, Rob Morgan? Yeah, you know. This is XYZ from the contact. You came in from an open call. We'd like to book you for five days. Book me for five days. Okay, so what, what I got to do? Well, take down this information. Because back then, right. emails and all that. No, you got to write things down. Yes, yes. All right, meet here, XYZ in the morning, real early in the morning, like 2.45 in the morning. And, do this, do that. Right. This bus takes you here. You get off there, wait for that person. They'll take you there. Whatever. Inspect the gadget to be waiting with the blue jacket. And right. got one of yellow shoes going to tell you which way to go. All that, right? And I'm sitting there like, okay, cool. So I jotted it down. Then I run over to Margaret. I said, Margaret, did they call you? <laughs> and, she, and she said, no. Why? I said, they called me. She said, they called me. I said, they called me. They called me. And it was like five days. And she was like, five days? I was like, yeah, five days. She's like, great, go, go. So I went, five days, I'm by myself, right? And I'm just in the environment listening because I've always been the cat to sit back and just look observe, and listen yeah. observe, That's right? best. Yeah, I just listen and I'm getting tidbits from people and hearing about the story and the movie and right. hearing Jodie Foster and Matt McConaughey. Yeah, and I'm nice. like, wow, okay, cool. So then I'm sitting on set and I see them position this guy with white hair and all this white uh, outfit. And I say, I need to be there. Right. So my black ass went right over there. Ah, yes. <laughs> after, after a while, I literally stood in this spot for like four or five hours. Didn't oh. move, didn't do nothing. They literally moved everything around me. Right. Because I peeped it out when they were setting them up. Mm -hmm. So I stood in this spot for five hours. Next thing you know, the set just formed right around me. Nice. Right? And it was the scene that... Jodie Foster was going into the president to ask for money to do this research for outer space. Right. So I got all that information just from listening and talking, mm -hmm. just, just listening, right? And so it came time for background to do action, and they were sending Jodie Foster right across from us, right, right through our crowd, right. right? So they was like, background action. And the background, they were going, they said background, you know, you can make noise. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they were doing. Right, right. Right? I was like this. About to speak English. Yo, you wasting my tax dollar. Get a real job. There ain't nothing out of space. Right? Yes, That's yes. Right. I was just, Jody Foster looking at me like. Is that in the script? I don't see that in the script. Right? Is that so, on page three? Take two. Yo, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Yo, you wasting my tax dollar. Right. Get a real job. Right. Hey, ain't nothing, you know. Right. I'm like, right. I'm like cause that's how I would feel right. if this was going on in D.C., right? Right. They say, you know, a mic hangs over my head. Yeah, nice. Man. And I see the mic, and I'm like. He's like, it's on now. Gary Busey looks at me, and he's like, yo, you're creative. Right. I said, hey, man, I'm just trying to get some shine. He said, man, keep doing it. Right. You're going to get it, right? That's all I needed to hear, right? And now, boom, again. You wasted my tax dollar. I got more in dollars, girl. I love it. it. Right? So then, cut, rap. And you know what's ill? Even at that time, I remember going over there, Robert Zemeckis sitting there looking at the monitor after we shot. And I'm literally sitting over Robert Zemeckis' shoulder. Are <laughs> you looking at like, you Let down. me see what you looking at. But, right. Yeah, right. And I see myself, and I'm like, <laughs> Right? And Rob looks up at me. That no words exchanged or nothing, but all I saw was like, "Wow, look at that's me, right?" Right. So then, I go when the movie comes out. I go by myself. I'm in the crowd. I'm looking. It's packed. Contact Jody Foster, Mac McConaughey. And next thing you know, I hear my voice. You listen, to my tech dollar. Get her. I hear my voice. Then I, <laughs> I see my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh! <laughs> Like, because nobody in the theater knew me. Right. I was by myself. I was like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's what I got to yes. do. Yes. And that's how it happened, yo. And then oh. from, there, from there, they was talking about uh, casting Shaft, which nice. is the joint Samuel right. Jackson did. Right, yes. Well, originally, yes. I was cast as Shaft. What? Just, I see that. Just off that. Yeah. I was that pump from that. They had an open call for Shaft <laughs> and uh, Apollo. Line wrapped around the whole block. Wow. Brothers looking just character. like me. Brothers looking just like me. Nah, it was just cool. Just a little shirt, some pants, you know, right. hard bottoms. And then, um, hard bottoms. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how you go to the parties. Right, hard right. Bottoms. Word. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I go there and do my thing, you know, green off the street, don't know nothing, no acting class. And Margaret Terry going, Margaret Terry going over the lines with me. Oh, she was the one that told me every word means something. Every word. Don't just, it, it means stuff. So literally, when I first used to get my scripts, even the the, I had like paragraphs behind the the, the, the small down the paragraph yeah. behind the small why am I, you know what I mean? She taught me all that kind of approach before any acting class. I mean, just, just sent me in there off of that and got a call back. I'm back at DC working at Marymount University as an internship coordinator at the time. That was back when you had the voicemails, you called in. <laughs> No and messages. They, right, right, right. To see if they let you in. Message code. <laughs> Rob, you got call back. Call back. Oh my god. Hey, look, I can't come to work tomorrow, y'all. Y'all gonna have to figure this shit out. Right, because uh, I'm not gonna be I'm, here. I'm not gonna be right, here right, so, right. So I come do my call back. Winston Sinclair was Winston Love You to Death. Winston Sinclair was uh casting it at the time. And I walked in, boom, did my thing. Went back to DC. Uh next thing you know, call my Boop, message, got a call back, call back. Wow, okay. <laughs> Look, y'all, I don't know what y'all going to do, but I ain't going to work tomorrow. I'm here. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. That's and how it and goes. This, is, this is back when you when I'm riding the bus. You know, I was nice. riding the bus overnight, get here. Doing, doing it whatever way you could get there. Stay with my it. man, Tori Tellis, and his family out in Newark, New Jersey. Ow, Brick home, City. Yeah, man, my homegirl, Sharon Finn, <laughs> picking me up at the Penn Station. You know, everybody, that was Virginia State University. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back, that was Virginia State. You know, people I, I haven't known for like no more than five, six years at that time. But, but they was there. coming through for you and, and showing, showing you State love. Virginia State University, man. Like, they, they really rallied around me and supported me because I was up here dolo. So, got the callbacks, callbacks, callbacks to the point they were like, yo, Rob, we want we want you a chef. Come meet Singleton. So it was me, oh my John God. Singleton in the room. I just, just talking passed to out me. on the floor. And I, but I was so green at the time. I was like, what? Let's do it. it was like, good. Yeah. You know what I like about you? It's the fact that even though like all these names and stuff like that, at the time, you like that wasn't what you were going to do at first. Mm -hmm. But because you got thrown into it, like all those people that other people might have been like all buttery and, and trying the best to impress, mm -hmm. you, you had that layer removed. Because you were just going there to have fun and do your thing. And so they got your natural talent as opposed to someone going in and auditioning and trying to impress. Yeah, they were already on. impressed. Mm -hmm. So all you had to do was just deliver. And yeah. that's that's dope. I mean, I'm, that's dope. I've, I've always came up like um, if a bomb was to go off right now, mm. it's not going to separate me from you. Mm. It's not going to separate you from me. Not gonna separate my man ill flow on camera from right, us. Right. The bomb is gonna take all of us. Right. So if I'm in a room with motherfucking John Singleton, uh, Denzel Washington, or President Obama, if I'm in a room with whoever and a bomb goes off, it's not gonna separate us. So good. why should I look at you like on a higher plateau? Yeah, because you know you breathe the same way I breathe. Mm -hmm. You know, no disrespect to anybody who's put in, you know, yeah, their their ten thousand hours to. Uh, secure their position. I respect everybody's position, but at the same time, movie making is teamwork. Right. And and everybody needs to be respected yeah. the same, in my opinion. That's just my approach, mm -hmm. you know. So. President Obama, the word use of bomb was not meant oh. to offend anyone. <laughs> in the um, no doubt, that's my dude. We love you. <laughs> no doubt. I love you. Continue. Too, but I mean, I just I just As say that are. I just As say that. Yeah, you know, I just say that to say, like, man, we we all, our time is, is ticking. Right. You know, our hearts are only programmed but for so many beats. So, you know, you're going to die just like me. So why should I be living my life in fear because you X, Y, Z? True. You know what I mean? That's just how I look at it. Hmm. You do poetry, too? I used to. I, I still see do. that. Yeah. I still do. I yeah. see the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> 
sometimes nah, you see it, it just comes that, out. That was, that was back in my uh, break dancing. And, and, oh, and, you, and, you and, better get it. Oh, hey, get it, hey, Sack. Hey, let's get it. Get it. Oh, we right here on the air with our show. Hey, Robbie Morgan and Stacks Cadero. Uh. Cotton candy over there in that silk flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how I go. Come on. <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we you never it. know I, 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 what, what happened on the Air It Out show. What? Oh, my God. That right there, that background, uh, that was just the best ever. That's what got me. That's nice. I like, yeah. I, I love, um, I love the, the humble beginnings. I just, I love when people embrace who they are and they're oh. thankful for everything that they have. And they don't feel like somebody owes them something or right. even or even if you get just a little bit of this tablecloth and you feel like you own the whole damn thing all of it is yours because you just got like a little thread right here that nobody can see yeah you better be grateful if somebody gives you another role or be grateful if somebody offers you something mm -hmm. else because i've seen it and i'm seeing it and i hear it and i'm watching it and I pray for these people. Yeah. I pray, you know, for them to have continued success. But don't wear all that. Just enjoy the yeah. smell of the roses yeah. while you have it. And I like that about you. Thank and you. you, you're so cool. Nobody would know that you on what? You on HBO? You on NBC? You popping right now on YouTube? Just Urban Film Festival? Yes. And this man is just chilling. He just cool, just, just chilling, chilling in the room. Like he ain't got a script in his bag Walking and stuff. Around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Walking around, got like me, six scripts in the bag. Got rubber wood like you were on Apollo. Let me right. Some of this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, look, look, I don't believe in, in that rubbing for good luck or nothing like that. I don't really believe in all that. So, you know. Yes. Okay, now let's bring it, let's bring it full circle full to circle, some right. things that's going on right now in your life. Gotcha. Okay, so um you got a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. We want to touch each one. Um what are you currently working on? And then we will then go back into some of the things that are out there right now. God. Wow. You like that? I love it. Ow! <laughs> All right, well, uh, currently. We portable, we portable. Yes, <laughs> you know, we available. You yes. know, we add, write, right, right. produce. Right. All right, okay, go ahead. Yeah, and I'll show subscribes right yes, down there. Yes, no, Please, okay. Okay. yes. Please, okay. Subscribe. Subscribe. Right. Subscribe. Hook these ladies yes. up. Yes, right. As um, you were. Well, right now, just yesterday, uh, I'm working on Believe, which is a program for NBC, uh, directed by Jonas Pate, uh, executive produced J.J. Abrams. I have some stellar cast to sit and work with Delroy Lindo, or to mm, see Delroy nice. Lindo, how he does his process, see Delroy Lindo uh, scrutinize, analyze, and really get specific about the scenes he's doing. Is a, is a learning lesson for a brother in my position. So I, it was an honor to work with uh, Delroy Lindo and the other castmates, you know, uh, Nick Terraby, uh, the name goes on. But, you know, uh, did that. And then um, I'm a recurring character on The Nick, which is the HBO joint by Steven Soderbergh. I play uh, this cat named Diggs. He's gonna be interesting. <laughs> dig! Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Yeah, interesting. I'm getting choked up thinking about it. Oh, I like oh. it. Can you share or no? Nah, I can't share it yet. But okay, it's so an we'll interesting look for it. Yeah, yeah. I get some. I get some good time. All right. I get some good time on both of these programs. Thank God. Thank God.